für 5, 2 für 6. Blue ready, white ready. Here we go, the game starts. And um, we oh, have uh, Ismir in blue and Copenhagen in white. And Ismir uh, was first on the ball and is still in ball possession, but is on a heavy attack by uh, the Copenhagen players. On the surface now in a cluster. Ball is breaking, uh, falling down. And Copenhagen uh, is in ball possession on the close side and the corner side of the basket. But uh, the forechecking of both teams is uh, instantly as soon as the ball is uh, in possession of one team. That was a difficult pass into the arms of an already protected um, player. Call from the referee we on the surface. Looks like uh, one of the players put uh, her feet Free on the step. For white. Free throw for white. Three meters. Uh, the free throw has to be executed three meters distance from uh, from, from the, the basket. Yeah, from the uh, opponent basket. Two meters. So you have to give the executing uh, ball carrier a two meters area around. Uh, where he's not attacked within these two to three seconds of executing executing the free throw and uh, the referee two minutes. Two minutes. would you help Okay, ready? Huh, it took quite long uh, for this free throw to be executed. It's, it's interesting, uh, Copenhagen uh, doesn't seem to, to know what they're doing here. Or uh, the referee is uh, especially uh, demanding. So uh, Copenhagen is attacking now from the close side to the basket. And they're pushing in on the basket. And the basket is uh, almost stolen away by... Uh, by Ismir player and then uh, the Copenhagen player has her whole arm, uh, the elbow in the basket. Oh, I'm on the wrong side again. Sorry for this. So we are uh, on top of the Turkish basket and Copenhagen is still attacking. Wow, oh, kicked away. That was that was looked like a little bit like kicking from the Turkish player into the attacking uh, uh, Danish player. I don't see what's happening there. Where's the ball? The ball is now uh, up to the surface. Copenhagen still in ball possession, coming from the closed side. Call from the referees. Free throw, blue. So uh, Izmir is in ball possession um, and they have a free throw against Copenhagen and that gives them the advantage to be almost already in the, with one uh, pass in the half of Copenhagen. <coughs> one, one, one. So we're still on the surface, we don't see what's happening now. Uh, Izmir is attacking from the open side. And the ball is uh, in the corner side, close side, and uh, recovered by uh, Copenhagen. The Ismi player is holding the ball, but he's, she's pushed away by two uh, Copenhagen players. And there's an Ismi uh, player lying on the basket of Copenhagen. 
There was a call from the referee before the... So the goal does not count and it's a free, free throw, throw white. against uh, Izmir. Free throw against Izmir. And we are still on the surface. Uh, the ball didn't even uh, make it uh, down in the pool in this free throw. And Ismir recovered the ball in the surface cluster fight. And uh, they try now to swim into the area of Copenhagen. But they are under heavy forechecking attack from the Copenhagen players. And they go pass by pass. And it's meter to meter. They are uh, under heavy pressure. And they are now on the basket, over the basket of Copenhagen and uh, tackled away to the surface. On the surface again, there's a lot of surface fighting here, uh, I think clustering up. And we have players waiting uh, from Ismir and Copenhagen under the cluster and wait from the pass or the ball falling down. Call from the referee. Outside the ball was outside uh, the pool, the playing area. Free throw white. It's uh, two minutes and ten left in his first half of uh, Izmir from Turkey in blue against uh, Copenhagen uh, from Denmark in white. And this is Champions Cup 2017 here in Berlin. And we have uh, still 14 nations playing for the best team in the world. And uh, for the first time in uh, many years, Molde is out of the race for the first place. So we have an attack again from uh, Copenhagen on the Turkish basket, but the ball carrier, I think even the a Turkish player recovered the ball, but it's, she's tackled by Copenhagen players on the surface. A lot of clustering on the surface, slows the game down. Three minutes, 20 left. Call from the referee. Stepping on the uh, on the step in the pool, you're not allowed to do that in the when you are in a in a cluster. Free throw, white. Free throw against Ismir, and the Ismir defense is in place. But there is also a ready and Copenhagen player waiting on the close side of the pool of the basket. This Copenhagen player is laying down there quite a lot of time, a long time now. Wow, she has great lungs. Again on the uh, surface, on the surface, on the surface. Seems to be a lot of surface fighting. When you uh, dive up to the surface with the ball and you're tackled on the surface, and uh, the ball goes down and uh, in the uh, Turkish player recovers it but tackled by Copenhagen players and they bring her to the surface. Two minutes left, call from the referee. Free throw blue. Free throw blue. Rough play. Yeah. Hmm. Rough play on the surface. Uh, the referee yeah. broke up the Come cluster. On. There was uh, wrong execution. Nine. No, I didn't start it. Ah, the player didn't wait uh, for the for the referee to start the free throw. Uh, Turkey in ball possession, trying to break through to the Copenhagen basket, but already tackled again to the surface. Both teams uh, rely on holding on to the ball carrying opponent and bringing them to the surface which it ends in the cluster. Looks like they are both teams are tired. So am I. And uh, Copenhagen is going down to the bottom and trying to swim uh, 
trying to swim to the to the uh, basket of the uh, Turkish girls. But they're really, the forechecking is quite good. The uh, Izmir girls uh, used to interrupt uh, the, the game of Copenhagen. They are always uh, have their hands on the ball when the Copenhagen comes in the in body range of the Turkish basket. And uh, they managed quite well to keep them away, to disturb them, and now even to break free. Call from the referee. Two minutes out. Two minutes out. Two minutes for whom? I didn't understand. Was it a penalty call? Two minutes? No, doesn't look like. Don't know what's happening there. I just heard the referee saying. Two minutes, uh, white one, because uh, holding the neck. Second or third time. So it's a time penalty for a uh, Copenhagen player for uh, holding uh, the neck. For white. white. Which On number? The surface, uh, <coughs> around the neck. So yes. This strangling. Yes. Uh, I think so, yes. Yeah. But we don't know which number of the Copenhagen plane will get the time penalty. <coughs> So Copenhagen will start in the second half in the game uh, of uh, Izmir, uh, Turkish team from Izmir um, in blue. Uh, Copenhagen will start with one player less for two minutes. They have a time penalty uh, because a player uh, repeatedly attacked the neck or was wrapping around her arm around the neck. And uh, it's not allowed and she ignored several warnings and the referee said uh, it happened several times. So yes, um, we are in game, which number do we have? Um, 36. Um, so that means we have uh, 20 more games ahead uh, today and tomorrow. Quite a long uh, day again, uh, still ahead of us. We will have games until uh, um, 9.45. I think we have a little bit of a delay, so probably we will end at 10, and tomorrow we start at 9. Meaning we still have uh, about four hours of uh, underwater rugby games ahead of us. This is the longest day in the Champions Cup 2017. Saturday is always demanding for uh, equipment, uh, commentators and uh, technicians. Uh, the referees too, never forget the referees. They have to uh, referee the whole day. You have to concentrate. You have to go in uh, with a tank, uh, with a pressure tank. And uh, that's also demanding the air from uh, the tanks is always very dry. And uh, to go, go in and out of the water so many times a uh, day if your referee is, is also demanding. So uh, great thanks to the referees here in the Champions Cup being here and uh, taking care of us. Here we go, uh, game is restarted. Could I please have a, a picture of an underwater? Copenhagen has a time penalty. Thank you very much. There is the picture, the underwater picture. We have 255 people watching. So tell us where you are, where you are following us, what time is it, where are you, how many people are with you, or post uh, us pictures on our Facebook website, uh, Facebook slash, uh, hold on, uh, Facebook slash, no, not Underwater Academy. And here is Torsten Stanchus. He will save my voice and my throat. Torsten, here you go. <laughs> Hold on, I give you power. 
My voice is also not the best. Oh, <laughs> Unfortunately, the weather. That sounds so sexy. <laughs> <laughs> you look so Smoking tired, Thorsten. Let's talk about the game. It's quite, yes. it's quite okay. close. It's, have you expected that it's really so close with a zero zero? Yeah, it's true. And um, I couldn't even uh, really decide who who's the uh, favorite team. It's back and forth, and uh, uh, Turkey is attacking quite well. Yeah. And uh, Copenhagen knows to defend. We've seen that. I really expected Copenhagen to be honest. If you if you see the results, yeah, 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 yeah me too. They they the Barcelona team, for example, they lost 10-0 against all cars. Okay, Turkey had a quite good defense with a 2-0, but Barcelona could beat the Turkish team. If I if I know right, right? So in this in this regard, and even the Copenhagen team is, is quite experienced and and. I would say so players, too. The yeah. bigger players. Yeah, but they uh, look it. look yeah. exhausted. They. Uh, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's it's weird. Maybe they're fighting more. Yeah. Let's see. Seven minutes. Le eight minutes left. Second half. We s we again don't have a sound from the pool area. Try to fix that. And uh, I will tell Vinny to update the scores. Give me a second, yep. and I leave. Uh, the area, the arena to Torsten. Do you want a All right, the prize? Oh, right. Well, what is the result? What? Sorry. Uh, uh, we are told on the live chat to, to update the scores oh. uh, on the website, and the sound from the pool area yeah, is yeah. not working. Be back in a second. No problem. So, so what we can see here now is, is Tur the Turkish team in the defense doing it quite proper. Now we see here attack from from above. Player trying to, to pass the ball down. But the Danish team, they're, they're, they're quite far. No, there's a, they try to steal the basket by the Danish captain. But I'm really wondering that the Danish team is not able to bring the ball really close to the basket. The Turkish player, they look really small, they look, they look, they look smaller, but they're doing a really good job in, in, in terms of for, for checking and yeah, positioning. So with a short break the ball what was probably out of the surface it's it's against the turkish team it's in favor for for denmark maybe denmark can try now here again to steal make a block to go in position but they're going close to the basket but it, it takes so time and and this gives the opportunity to for turkish team to take their positions too one so it's six minutes again. left in the second half. You can see here the, the Danish player holding at the basket. Yeah, I'm under the impression the game know. is getting slower. It's really slow. It's really slow. I don't know. And even at the surface, uh, the Danish team is bringing it up on the surface. They always try and attacking strange from the surface, coming down. Yeah, yeah. But it's a long way and give it time for a Turkish team then to attack them on their way to the basket. You see, it's always the same. The same. Yeah, it's the same pattern. Going up, repeating, yeah. waiting, breathing, going down, and then yeah. the Turkish players but are waiting for it. But these surface fights uh, exhaust you too. They don't give you uh, air. Get them. And I uh, think in this situation, when the Copenhagen will have the chance, they have yeah. more experience and they have a chance to score with five minutes left. Yeah. Um, uh, my bet would be right now on the Copenhagen team. I think also in the in a. Right now, in the, life, uh, the left, last five minutes left, the, the Copenhagen team can, can should play down the game, try the best to score. But at least in the penalty shooting, I would give a favor to Copenhagen yes, because they're too. very experienced. Yeah. But you see here, it's, 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 it's a wrestling at the surface for really for, for almost a minute. Now the ball dropped down, Turkish player have it. And a Turkish player tries to go over the yeah. half into the half of uh, over the half into the area of uh, Copenhagen. But uh, they are all very. Yeah, you see here the defense now. It's a, the midfield is a lot of fights for the ball. And now there's a good chance for Copenhagen. It's a 1 1 situation. Ah, oh, no. She, she's holding the feet. She was defeated. She's not seeing her teammate being behind her in a good position. Might be a good opportunity for fast break, counter attack goal. But it goes up to the surface again. again Same yeah. pattern. I don't know if it's the, the Danish or the, or the Turkish team who brings it down to the surface in the rest, but, but both don't want to give the ball away when they're... I told Winner to update the website, um, Bergsund51, uh, 
and he will do this soon and okay. we have again the sound uh, for the from the pool area it the reason is the referees switch it off uh, by themselves and uh, don't switch it on again if the game restarts timeout by blue as far as i understood yeah. <coughs> So, Thorsten, where did you lose your voice? It's a good question. Maybe uh, the pool area with the... <laughs> 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 underwater? Screaming <laughs> underwater with the Swiss team? No, it's maybe it's, it's, it's been... Uh, I'm due to the reason I'm living in France, maybe I'm not used to this cold weather here in Germany. So <laughs> Very it's funny. Not, it's, not really, it's not really cold, but I feel my, my voice. You, you prefer the light of the Côte d'Azur, don't you? <laughs> that's true, that's true. The, 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 the yeah. Okay, that's the guess of the referee, which is very funny to hear. <laughs> and he said uh, this will be a probably for sure will be a draw and we will have penalties. Well, we have uh, how many minutes? Three minutes, I think, left. Yeah, so this is a bit hard to say in this this minute. So, for example, if you compare it with the with the mold against Orkers game, it was an open game, and it was also the, the score quite close to the end. So this is now, and even with the with the. Uh, Czech against uh, the Denmark in the mail. So yeah. we have a lot of goals here in the last minute of the game. The Turkish team scored against Bamberg. It's the same position. So let's let's wait for the last minute of yeah, the it's game. Yeah, it's not over yet. In three minutes, 33, a lot it's can a lot happen. Of time. It's a lot of time. But uh, the way both teams stay on the surface like this, it's again, it's, a, it's, yeah, a, it's, it's again and it's again. And it, uh, it the call from the referees repeatedly. So free throw against uh, Turkey. Free throw white. <laughs> free throw for the white team. It's no, there's the ball's just falling down. What's what's going on here? It's, it's, this is this is quite weird. I don't know what a Danish team is doing here. They're looking really nervous, but they don't have to be. It's a zero zero. They're in it, favor. It, it works in their favor if they do yeah, penalties, I guess. It's all right, but but just come keep. Keep calm, play, play quite cool. It's but if you ball. see how many players are down, Copenhagen yeah, seems yeah. really out of breath. And even there, how, how the, the distance, if you take, for example, this player here right now, how far she was away from this yeah. small Turkish player, yeah. there's a lot of respect in the Danish team for the Turkish players. I don't know if they're really wondering that they are stronger than expected or, or they really try to play carefully now. But you can never win the game if you're not even out of outside of the field taking the one against one situation and go so far away. You see here like the one goalkeeper is pushing the other goalkeeper down while the Danish attacker just crapping the head, trying to This is a situation where there is a gap. The goalkeeper is stolen the basket, but the Turkish team was really good in defending the ball and keeping the ball safe. And up on the, the surface clinch. again. Yeah, this is this is and it's always coming from from up directly to the down to the basket and here he has a player now trying to steal the basket and pushing this is not allowed this, no, this, what, this, should, this, be this, should, be this should be this should be called this is not allowed as yeah. a clear foul but i don't know why the referee is not giving this don't well don't give you a favor this is because this is not really fair but what happens to the referees is the same what happens to us after uh, so many games and so many you just uh, you see it but sometimes you react uh, later so it shouldn't happen for sure but uh, they are tired too but there's not an excuse you see for example like this player w was pushed by the, yeah. the player and even if there was no goal she's now out of power maybe she, she yeah. had more to fight with no reason so this is something why, like a co opponent team can take Advantage. a lot of power yeah. Yeah. a lot of benefit and even if this situation is not taking or getting a totally goal it can be a minute later but starting with this action Stealing the goalkeeper, yeah. the, the, the brief, and you reward them yeah. if you don't punish them. Yeah, yeah, that's it. So uh, 50 seconds left, and uh, well, it looks looks really what the like what the referee said. It's going to be a draw. 40 seconds left. Crick to the head. For White. Yeah, it's a free throw against White, and the last chance for mm. Ismir. Uh, no, it's worldwide. It's against blues. It's the last. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Game sorry. Game. Uh, wow. That's all right. You know, it's, it's always the same. The cannon down with the first wave, and and they're they're yeah. tackled. Turkey's already waiting for them. So there's no surprise. There's no idea. It's, I'm a bit 
disappointed to be honest. It's they're playing so small. They played so small against the, that's the true, German that's team. True. They yeah, played yeah, so yeah, small that's against the others. Now maybe the Turkish team. They're wondering why it's so hard for them, and they want to make it in the first okay, wave. Okay, here we go. That's it. Now we're in the penalty shooting. All right, penalty shooting uh, of Copenhagen from Denmark in white against uh, the Turkish team from uh, Izmir in blue, female teams. And we have uh, 249 people watching this game here, Champions Cup 2017. Look in the camera, Torsten, and smile. Oh, hey. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so as you can see, oh, we have both uh, uh, Academy <laughs> t-shirts because yesterday we did the <laughs> Underwater Rockery Academy and Thorsten was giving a great speech about injuries. Yeah, it was very yeah, interesting. Yeah. And the feedback from, uh, from the people there. We learned a lot and think we have to Pretty deepen nice. that uh, in the future. And I was talking to Antje from uh, Competitive Sports in the yep. BDST yep. section and she, had, uh, uh, she gave me a lot of uh, ideas what we can do to prevent injuries in the fin stroke. And yep. especially she was looking at our um, fins and our uh, glass fiber fins yep. and she said, don't you have cramps in the soles of your feet? Oh, really? And I said, yes, I do. And she said, what do you do against it? And I said, nothing walking. Yep. And she said, no, 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 no. You should stretch your foot as much up as you yep. can. Yep. Yep. Because uh, this 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 feeling from the sole of your feet walks up the whole uh, right. uh, feet. Right. Yeah. 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 So yeah. this is really interesting. The knowledge yeah. the the fin swimmers have from the from the stress these fins put on sure. your feet. So we could use this knowledge and give it a, um, yeah. to the players. This was also one of the theor theories uh, Christian Schaefer brought up during the workshop that he told that, for example, in that that so underwater player with a bad. Uh, technique, fin swimming technique, delphin kick in. Um, they're struggling in a big pool because they are, in comparison to a small pool, doing more kicks per game. And this number of games even could uh, occur some some issues with with muscles, with with ligaments, and something like that, and with the knees. And uh, so his theory is that if he will play more in bigger pools, he will have more injuries and issues wi with the legs what was for example during our because we made a, a kind of short survey every participant should put a, a dot on a on a, a painted maniac and it uh, turned out that we had from all the par uh, participants we didn't have really big issues with the uh, with the legs yeah but sometimes don't some people don't connect it with yeah. the fins Probably. so here we, we go start. first penalty can we have please uh, yeah this on the water the attacker from Izmir is coming uh, from above, pushed away by uh, the goalkeeper. It's number 10. From Copenhagen. Oh no, it's two minutes. Oh All right. Wow. This, is, this is very. That's not, that's not true. She wasn't kicking. No, was really. Pushing. This was very, very. In, in comparison to all the other yeah. things, the yeah, referee was letting go. This was. This was not clear. And she was not happy about it. She was angry because she was exactly uh, doing it. She yeah. was first contacting yeah. the body yeah. and then pushing. And the Turkish player was directly swimming in the feet. Now we can see here the Turkish player doing the next penalty shoot too. Right but ahead. quite wondering because she had now she was already underwater and he had the had pressure. But she's swimming in the feet and she's doing it again. She's let trying let to get up see under, she under the goalkeeper. Let's see. Oh, the ball's... Oh, 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 oh. She tried to, to oh, push it. She's going up. The surface, breathing. She has 24, 23 seconds breathing. 21, 20. Goalkeeper is still on the basket. This is oh, a this game... Is a very hard situation of the goalkeeper. Seconds. 15 seconds left. It's, it's really crazy with the, with the stress you're under. But this is what 10, I mean with 9, the, with the, with the 8, Copenhagen experience. 7. That's it. That's it. Three, two, one. Wow, oh, what a shot. Very good. Very, very well good. Done. Very well done. This was amazing. But she came back while she was. Oh, this was crazy. This to was. Have, uh, to uh, have this mental power to go back to the throne when you see it. She didn't know that there were only two seconds yeah, left. No, no, she didn't. Um, it oh, was oh, a crazy. really good call of her. She would have not gone back to the best. It would be the score. So this was amazing. Congratulations to Copenhagen. This was a really, really good defense. And I think even the first one was good and, and should be not treated as a two minute, two minute penalty. But now we, we need to see that one goalkeeper of Copenhagen is now on the penalty bench, so she's not allowed to attack and defend either. But now Copenhagen needs to score, and if they just score this, this one, the game is over. 
because it's a KO round. And now we can here see number two from Copenhagen. Ready? Ready? And then uh, against Turkish number, we cannot see it, but it's very number five from Turkey against number two from Copenhagen. We can see here, oh, she's a good crab, and that's it. That's it. Congratulations. That's what I meant before. So oh, Copenhagen is, was winning the game. They should have not been scared in any, any turn Defended, about huh? a, no. the penalty shooting. Um, they made it. It's over. Finish. It's over. That's where you see the, the experience and uh, probably mental strength yeah. to execute it. Yeah. And the, the first penalty we saw from Copenhagen here uh, was really amazing. Very amazing. And that's, that's experience probably that comes that's into true. the water. That's true. And this is what I, what, I, what I meant before. This is what takes it into account why such teams, exp penalty experienced teams who have seen less.